Hello everyone, this is Pete, Psychic Medium and before I go any further, I just want to say thank you to all the new subscribers to my channel. Welcome and I hope that the content, whether it's music, the meditations, whether it's the series that I upload quite often, or just whether it's a place for you to understand a little bit more about the spirit world, about love, unconditional love from the angels, whatever that may be, just hope that this channel brings you that great deeper understanding and again thank you again to each and every one of you who are following me on my spiritual journey. And this is a mixed mixed video, just a chat and also before I go into this video, I recently made the video on demons and attachments and so on. And this is like a follow up, so we can maybe maybe this will be called part four. Okay, so demons, ghosts, and attachments, part four. Or oh, we'll just see where it where it takes us, as I like to just go with the flow of energy. But I just want to touch up upon the energies that we can pick up on within negative energies, with within a surrounding, within around an object where a place that we visit and maybe pick up energy from that, that place or where we could go into a room where somebody's feeling negative and then without knowing we've not protected ourselves and picked up and then suddenly we start to feel whether it's anxieties or especially for empaths who are very sensitive to energy or we could feel where we just feel something's just not right and that is due to the it's classed as foreign energy that we've brought in without even knowing. So it's always important to to protect yourself with either a white, clear white light that, that surrounds your entire being. And just see that light as your light. See that light as your protection shield of protection. And then finally, just remember to always set the intention to protect yourself and to just know and to own that stuff, own that energy, own knowing that Archangel Michael will protect you. The, the moment we even think his name is with us instantaneously. So this is just a message to everyone to remember to practice your spiritual cloak, so to speak, the protection light around you. Now the other message I want to bring through here the other bit of guidance is for many you'll probably have had this experience so I am going to call this part four so this is demons ghosts and attachments part four because I've just felt where the energy is going and I do know that that's it's going to fit this video nicely for those who have been fully, fully asleep and then suddenly heard bangs in the night or mainly three bangs okay but it can be four for me i've had four bangs and you almost feel like somebody's knocking at your front door that's how loud it is and then to wake wake up but you know it was so close now my view on this is the mindset the conscious mind the subconscious and so on it's it's almost like you've gone into theta state which is virtually sleep state it's the next one basically it's the very very sleepy state of relaxation and as we sleep we do drop even further down into the vibration where we're very very relaxed and that's where the spirit world become unknown to become unknown to to our energies the the spirit world is as close as arm's length and arm's length is the length or, or, the, or should I say the width of your aura and that's what we're trying to protect here so we can protect by again set intention but going back into into what I've just spoke about within the bangs the bangs to me can feel many different things can be the cause of those bangs one it may just be a simple you've gone into a deep state of relaxation and then the bangs have become apparent to you, you know they're there, you've heard it, you've got out of bed and 
not to, to find nothing. And that can be simple of a, a, a sleep state where you've gone, you've connected to a higher realms within the spirit world and you've sort of heard and maybe a spirit is trying to get your attention. This, this is one of many. Remember, this is my feeling. It's only one of many things that it could possibly be. On the other hand, it could be, I'm not saying it is, I'm saying it could be the sign of loud bangs such as I'm not going to say demon but we can we can go towards that energy and negative energy that is and it's that's how, how, how it starts by, by bangs in the night loud bangs um bangs that are trying to scare you but my point on this is if you're asleep how is that meant to scare you so there's a there's going to be a mixed view on this but the bangs in in it are one way of a demonic entity within within the house. I'm not saying it is all every single bang you hear is going to be a demonic. It doesn't doesn't happen like that. Because um, there'd be other other signs such as bad smells, um, feeling like someone's whispering in the ear, can be something where you feel someone's watching you, um, but it makes you feel uncomfortable. Where you just know that there's something else in your presence and those are other signs so never just take one sign so that's just a message to everyone or for those who are hearing noises um, it may just be a playful spirit again it's always good to have a, a, a medium who you can actually say he, he or she is a genuine medium who can maybe investigate and just give that it may be just a lost soul that needs moving on there's many ways, but I just want to clear up on that. So it's just, just giving you the options of what it could be. It's not necessarily a possession in the house or someone trying to possess you. Okay, so it's just, there's many views on this, but it does happen. And we can't rule out that it could be what's going on within within that moment in your household. So, for example, if you're hearing bangs in the night and it's at a certain time, such as... 222 or 111 maybe that's a sign of a loved one we have to sort of break down and don't just jump in to a conclusion of what we may think it may be that's why it's good to have a medium just to visit and just to see and, and so on but again before i go off track because i've got so much i want to say here so what, what you've you've got to ask yourself Okay, so I'm hearing bangs in the night, I'm hearing noises, I'm hearing even, now if you hear whispering or people talking, that's a sign of a lower vibration, okay, especially if it doesn't feel right. And normally you get a sense of knowing within the energy and you don't have to be a medium to start to become in fear. Once you start to become in fear, that's when the entity, the, the lower vibration spirit starts to latch on. And that's when it creates more fear and then more bangs and then more different things that, that, that can be very frightening for the person who it's, who's involved and who it's doing it to. But we've got to remember that fear feeds off fear and we have to try and balance that fear. And we can do that by overcoming the fear, by creating that shield of protection, working with the angels, working in the mindset to, to just know that it's it's the living that is out to hurt us more than spirit, okay? So you, you've just got to remember that if there's bangs, if there's going-ons in the house, is there anything that you're going through? Are you going through a negative situation? Are you going through a breakup? Or are you going through something that is causing negativity within the house? All those things can attract negativity. Again, this is only in saying so what I'm saying. It don't take this like you've got a haunting, okay? I'm just stating the facts of what could possibly be. So it's always good ways to ask and it's never just one. It's like when people see orbs, they they sometimes freak out and think, oh my God, I've got a negative spirit. And many of the time, that isn't true, 
okay orbs are a beautiful thing they're a beautiful energy now yes orbs can be negative but more times out of ten the orbs and it could be the spirit people of loved ones it could be angels could be signs especially if you're talking about somebody who's in the spirit world you're bringing that energy closer to you just by mentioning their name there's many other ways now again that's why i like i'm liking these series that i'm making because i'm making quite a lot about different things of my experience only okay so i can only give you i've not got the answers to everything but i have got answers to the things that i have experienced in my time there was one morning for example or should i say one one early hours in the morning this was around about three o'clock now those who are spiritual will know that witching hour is it varies from different beliefs from i think with my wife because she's she's a white witch and she works with Archangel Raphael, she works with angels, guides, and she's she's very talented and very, very empath within her. Now we heard a bang and it was three o'clock and again which now is two till three, three till right through till four. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, but I know there's many views. Now I know a lot of the energy happens around three in the morning and two in the morning, two onwards. But this was around three o'clock and we had three massive bangs. It was like really loud and it was so close. And I wasn't fully asleep. I was still awake a little bit. So I knew that I heard the bangs. So I came downstairs, checked everywhere, checked, checked the doors, checked and I knew that that, and it was just a weird feeling. But as a medium, then I, then I was like, okay, this is spirit, okay, this is somebody trying to get me attention. It's not nothing to fear for that for that moment because there was nothing negative in our home. Our home is very angelic and we're very positive people within this within working with spirit and and, and we try to be positive. Again, we're only human and sometimes negativity does maybe we pick it up. If we do pick it up, we'll, and we have to recognise, and that's the good thing about being a medium, is I can recognise whether I've got some energy towards on me, or if my wife, or and vice versa. I can recognise that energy instantaneously, and it's good that I can do that, and my wife is pretty good too at doing that. So, so then we work together very well, and as we come close together within uh, spirituality, Again, I fell asleep that evening and then the same thing happened again, but it was about seven, eight o'clock-ish. About half past seven, eight o'clock, okay? And it was three bangs, exactly the same noise, and it but it was it was really loud. So I came running downstairs thinking it was the it was the door and I actually shouted hello and there was no one there. And again, and then I realised it was coming up to an anniversary of a loved one. And it was a very good feeling, and it, it soon took me to notice that that it was, it was just a message that they were trying to get my attention. Now again, I always say precaution, even though I knew it was a loved one, just trying to get me attention, and 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 there was no more bangs. But energies, energies, energy, and it never goes away. Energy, we can pick up energy so quick without even knowing it so it's always important to to cleanse yourself clear yourself if you go visiting antique shops especially we have a lot of mirrors in the house and i'm going to tell quite a few stories as i go on within the channel and we have quite a lot of mirrors in the house my wife absolutely loves mirrors and there's one in particular mirror that was definitely it was a portal to the spirits it was there was negative things happening there was there was quite a lot of intense things happening and i will go into that into future videos but I, we tried to cleanse it i did cleanse it everything was fine we kept it down we covered it up uh, never break a mirror if you feel that something is attached to the mirror remember it's not the the, the mirror it's the energy around the mirror you think of how many people look into a mirror in an antique shop and then you take that home you could have a lot of people's energies in that mirror I'm not saying it's definitely going to happen but it's if if you're open to it you're going to see things and 
this mirror was cleansed so many times and what I did, I thought, right, I'm going to cover this up for a few weeks and the energy stopped. It, there was no, no more happenings as well as cleansing with sage as I always do and Archangel Michael prayer con continuously. I thought, let's try this mirror and something was urging us to put it up there and as soon as I put it up that exact night, things started happening and that'll be in another video but again, that mirror is now wrapped up safe and it's out the way and it's not in the house but we've still we still have have that mirror but it's not in the house so again yes energy does attach to objects and that is without a question of a doubt no doubts from my side on that there's been many views who people can say that this is impossible and that's that's fine everyone's entitled to an opinion um but anyway just wanted to let people know that remember to cleanse the energy a good little exercise you can try after your day is if you have a shower and just set the intention remember intention having a positive intention that you are protected is just as good as any prayer okay but again it's good to say the prayer if you if you choose to but again you don't have to be religious i'm nothing against religious people nothing against any religion but i'm not religious but i do believe in spirituality and that's freedom of speech freedom as what i know in feel to be true well and mainly it's by experience and, and that's why i like to share on my channel it's all through experience and that that is otherwise i wouldn't feel comfortable just reading a book and and stuff like that because it's just not my way of doing things i'd rather give stories give advice give exercises of what's worked for me because again this is my journey but it's also your journey because you are watching my channel and i am very very humble and appreciate each and every one of you so just a quick exercise going back to that is you can just take the shower close your eyes and just visualize the water as it's cleansing your energy and just set that intention that you're cleansing away the energy from the day anything negative and in the meantime what you say in the mind Archangel Michael I ask you to cleanse this energy this old stagnant energy from throughout the day and I ask you to protect my aura and to fill me with unconditional love and the white light from the Holy Spirit okay and you will feel so refreshed when you get out of the shower and then you that that's as easy as that and you can do and you can try that exercise in the morning before you go do it, whatever it is in the day or in the evening i find in the evening is much better because you've already had your day but you can sit can do it twice a day whenever or even if you if you feel positive still practice the exercise you can even do the advanced one which i find really good and that is by getting in the shower close your eyes visualize a load of dirt completely cover your entire being in the mind visualize all that dirt completely covered and then just do exactly the same by feeling that shower hit the top of the head and then just rinsing all that dirt and just see that dirt as the energy that you've carried throughout the day okay and that makes it more sacred it makes it more intense and it also gives it more backbone for the intention that what you've set out to do okay folks so sending many blessings to each and every one of you this is series so this is number four so i'm going to continue that as demons ghost attachments and number four hope you all enjoyed this video and got something from it if you didn't get anything from it at all that's totally fine remember to stay to true to who you are and believe in yourself remember you'll always have other people critic and critics and giving some will give negative comments we can even pick up if you let it we can even pick up negative comments okay and that's by reading the comments and then taking that energy on and as you've took that energy on you start to think about it and before you know it you've manifested a lot of negative thoughts just by reading a negative comment as soon as you see that negative comment give love to the comment if you feel like deleting the comments delete the comment if not just move away and move forward cleanse that energy and don't hold on to that energy it will only hold you back 
sending love and light thank you again for all the subscribers feel free to like and share this video remember folks if you haven't subscribed already feel free to hit that subscribe button it is much appreciated until next time take care this is pete psychic medium Thank you.